Good evening. It is uh, 535 on Wednesday, May 13th of the year 2015. This is the monthly meeting of the Urbana Human Relations Commission. Can we please have a roll call? Francis Rigberg Baker. Here. Kevin Bauer Sox Johnson. Daniel Larson. Here. Lisa Mosley. Peter Resnick. Here. And Aisha Lam Sobe. Thank you. Um, lacking a quorum, we cannot officially approve the agenda or minutes from last month's meeting, but are there any uh, items that you would like to add to our agenda for this evening? I saw there was an indication on the agenda that maybe we were going to defer discussion of a and Mechanical anyway, so yes. we'll skip that until next month. Absolutely. Okay. Fran? Every? Okay. Um, we are then jumping to public participation, seeing none, hearing none. Uh, we can look at some old business. Um, I think essentially we've approved the right. uh, draft, right. but obviously. I we'll just wanted you all to see it before, I, honestly, I just wanted you all to see the very final one before we published it. Yep. Thank you, Todd. Are there any, are there any questions about the final one? Excellent, so we will go ahead and publish that excellent um, uh, and and that wasn't waiting on a vote we voted no last you voted time. last time I just wanted right. you to see it one more time yep. thank you uh, additional exciting news we have an introduction to be made um, uh, we are so happy to uh, welcome Alex Batista our interim HRO officer to the Commission we are uh, excited to meet you and excited and look forward to the coming months. Um, sorry to put you on the spot, but if you would, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself publicly and um, anything you'd like to share, Alex? Yes, thank you for that warm welcome. I am very excited and looking forward to working with the Commission on building an inclusive and diverse community. Uh, I have a varied background. I have you know, human resources experience. I have some legal experience. I have some uh, organizational <coughs> development experience. And I'm looking forward to bringing that all to bear here uh, for the benefit of the community. Uh, and also to work with you to um, grow some of the initiatives that uh, we have currently pending. Um, I just look forward to getting to know all of you as we move forward. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, new business actually has been post postponed till June. So, Todd, we're jumping uh, to, this, to the staff report. Yes, and so we can't actually do EEO workforce statistics approval, but I certainly wanted to solicit your comments on the uh, staff recommendations that have been made and take any questions that you might have. Peter. So, I. I looked them over. They look the the recommendations look appropriate. Um, the Baker Tilly uh, Virchow Kraus. Um, I I went and looked up. They're they're located. Are they located in Michigan or or no? They're I, I forget where. I looked up the city. Are they outside of? That's right. They're Oak Park, and I looked up the uh, uh, demographics for Oak Park, and they actually appear to be Oak Brook. I'm sorry. Um, they appear to be getting closer to what the demographics are supposed to look like, but they're still rather far off, so I have no objection to the uh, uh, six months. Um, I also noticed that Health Alliance seems to be improving uh, their numbers somewhat. Um, the How customized is the letter that goes to them? Is it based on specifically what they're doing or is it very form letter like it's very form letter like quite be honestly because uh, i mean with health alliance we would like to i think send the message of okay we're glad you're improving um we, we want to keep tabs because it's still not up to snuff but um and we want to make sure you're continuing to make progress but you know uh, th they're they are definitely getting better Fran, any thoughts or comments or questions? Yeah, I alliance truly as well with women, no? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Uh, Health Alliance has a good profile for women, 
Absolutely. And, and in fact, Baker Tilly is up to almost 50 percent. So, um, and, and it the interesting thing was that their Asian population, which has increased significantly, um, doesn't match their demographics still. Um, evidently, um, the town that they're in has a large Asian population. Um, uh, the African American population um, hasn't moved in any particular direction, uh, nor the Latino. Uh, the Latino population seems to have uh, <coughs> gone up. Uh, the workforce statistics, anyway. But you know, I, I think six months is still appropriate. So while we cannot vote tonight, Todd, we uh, to me it sounds like. Um, for those present, we are uh, concur with your, your recommendations. Excellent. Thank you very much. And thank you, Tony. So going on to our substantive or substantial context report, there's really only been one. It was a public accommodations issue involving race. Uh, there was no jurisdiction because it was out of the city limits. Any questions on that? All right. Next. I'd like to go to the um, monthly complaint activity report. Um, I printed you off another one in landscape. It's a little easier to read. Um, looking at 1402.01, that is the one that we have an order pending for. Uh, 1410.06, um, I had conversations with the attorneys there who gave me the distinct, actually they told me that they were writing up a revision to the policy that would actually eliminate the injury, or would eliminate the, the possibility of future injuries occurring. And by injury, I don't mean physical injury, I mean um, discrimination, yeah. yeah. Um, um, at this point, I have not heard back from them, so I'm, I'm gonna get on that pretty hot and heavy over the next week or so. And once we hear from them what direction they're going to go in, we will report back next week, next month. And by we, I mean Alex. Does, <laughs> does, that, does that mean the complainant would be, what does well, that mean for this? For yeah, so in this particular instance, it was a, it's a public accommodations issue. So ultimately, there was an issue for the complainant. That issue was resolved fairly quickly, because it had to be, based upon the need. However, the ongoing concern is about the policy, and that's what we're trying to gotcha. get addressed. Thank you for that clarification. Yeah, uh, thank you for asking. So 1503.01, um, we've gotten the response, and we are currently reviewing the, oh, I skipped one, I'm sorry. Uh, 1411.07, we have the response, we're reviewing the response, and the same is true with, um, 1503.01. Any questions on those? All right. Uh, the in the budget item, we would just note that there has been an expense that Tony has helpfully highlighted for me, um, and that was the lunch for the HRC meeting that we had uh, last week. Other than that, I don't think there are any additional changes. Otherwise, Tony would have highlighted it. Any, any other questions for me? All right, that, that's it for me. Okay. And I just want to say it's been wonderful working with you all. Yeah. So uh, we'll move on to announcements. Um, while we are quite happy to have made the introduction of our interim uh, HRO officer, Alex Batista, today, that also means we are saying goodbye to um, Todd Rent. Uh, personally, Todd and I have met uh, on a handful of occasions. Those meetings have been incredibly uh, enlightening for me, uh, educational, informative. They've been kind. Todd, you, for me, you're the essence of a true public servant. I've been so impressed by your enthusiasm, your knowledge, your desire for fairness, for justice. Uh, we will we will miss your your smile, your laugh, um, your your wonderful guidance, and uh, of course we will be seeing you around just in different capacity. Uh, we want to thank you for these last few years. It's uh, been a, a true honor uh, 
working with you, and we want to thank you immensely. Peter and Fran, I didn't mean to speak for you, but. Thank you so much. You could not have spoken it better, Dan. Great. Absolutely. Great. So, wow. So, in honor of uh, Marion Knight, <laughs> we, will, we are in rapid fire. We are through this meeting, and maybe, maybe you can beat his best time. Not that, not that we don't take our, our charge seriously. We can say uh, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>